Uh, really quick, let's just see uh, <clears throat> how many people want me to go into the manga here. Just, you know, really fast, really fast. Let's just see. Um, we got, you know, one person. Manga, manga, yeah, manga. People like that. People, manga, right? There. Yep, manga. Uh, <clears throat> manga, yeah. Manga. Okay, yep. Um, yeah, Demon Slayer Nation of Priests. Yep, thank you. Manga. 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 Ooh, okay, manga. Manga. Ma manga. Manga. Ma man manga. Manga. Ma manga. Manga. Manga, manga, manga. He said, "Please, please." Manga, 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 <clears throat> manga, 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 manga. Uh, manga. Ma ma manga. Ma manga. Ma manga. Yeah. Okay. Ma manga. Yeah. Uh, manga. M manga. Please. Manga. 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 Uh. Yeah. I mean. Uh. I guess we'll go into the manga. Yo, what is good, everybody? It's your boy, Golden Golden Falls, Golden What If, whatever you want to call me. And I am back with What If Tanjiro Was Kurama's, Kurama's Jinchuriki Manga Edition. As you can see in the clip before, it's low-key just me bantering. I was just scrolling through the comments and... Yes, I saw all the comments of wanting manga. I, I shouldn't have. I, I kind of should have expected that. So we're here. And we made it. And if you guys... If y'all can just blow this video up for this manga edition. I'll go back ASAP and start doing and start doing other manga editions for many other ones. For, for like Demon Slayer, for the My Hero ones, I'll go back and do that. Blow this thing up and we'll go crazy with it. But as always, it's going to be after this video, it's going to be business as usual. Anime strictly for a little bit and then I probably will eventually get some more manga additions to the stories. But I do appreciate all the support and all the comments of you guys saying how, mu like how much y'all wanted the manga a manga edition and I hopefully can provide you with um proper like you know like enjoyment from this manga um I will say if you haven't read the manga I recommend you don't watch this video because there is going to be minor spoilers and then some major spoilers obviously um but if you just want to watch it it's not going to be exactly page for page like the manga of course so the manga is going to have different aspects in it and mine's gonna have different aspects so feel free to watch it as well but just a little fair warning little spoiler alert before we get right into it i want to let you guys know that i've been trying so hard to finish this it's taken me forever i'm really really sorry about that i'm actually recording this at 5 30 in the morning right now i haven't slept but i wanted to get this out for y'all um the day of i'm the day i'm recording this i, I want to get this out as soon as possible so yeah that's about it um if you could please leave a like and subscribe and share this to everybody share it to your mom your dog your cat your grandma your brother your sister everybody share it to everybody let's blow this thing up let's go crazy and yeah that's, that's all i really have to say i'm not gonna waste any more of your time let's get right into it let's get it tondro is brought back to the infirmary waking up to canal walking into his room as she runs over and surprised that he's actually awake <clears throat> what what how long have i been out about two weeks what how is that sorry kid we linked and i lost a lot of my energy so your normal recovery time was extended by a lot 
Tondra asks what's been going on until he sees Inosuke dive in from the ceiling, landing on him. Conjuro, <laughs> you're awake. That thing you did, you were glowing. Yeah, I know. It, it was weird. Where's Rengoku? Tanjiro is then told that Rengoku went off to his family home to handle some business. And that he wanted Tanjiro to meet him there, actually. Tanjiro leaves, and when he arrives at the destination that was told to him, he meets a little boy that looks a lot like Rengoku himself. You must be Tanjiro. Um, my brother is inside training. He told me to send you right in. He walks in to see Rengoku meditating, and, and the rest of the house appears to be empty. Tanjiro, you're awake. Good. Um, I wanted to. I want you to come because I have some questions about your tailed beast, especially after what I what I well, what I saw. Tanjiro explains what happened to the best of his ability, and he's and asks why would he want to know this anyways. Rengoku explains that his father has just recently passed because of the tailed beast inside of him, and also of old age. So the tailed beast was then transferred to himself. Tanjiro in pure surprise begins to ask so many questions, but Rengoku stops him. The things you are asking I can't answer, but I need to talk to, to the master as soon as possible. About what? I can't tell you right now, but be ready, young Tanjiro. They head back to the Hashira mansion, and when Tanjiro arrives, the sound Hashira is trying to take the girls to, a, to go on a mission with him. Tanjiro, Inosuke, and Zenitsu decide to step in for them, and they head to the entertainment district. When they arrive, the three boys are disguised as, as girls to intrude in the brothels. Um, Tanjiro and Inosuke are quickly sold off for work, but Zenitsu is left behind, being deemed as an ugly girl. Tanjiro walks through the house and comes across some females, and he asks about the girls that have been going missing. They explain that they just run away, and that is all they really know. After some time, the group meets up, but Inosuke and Zenitsu are missing until they both come get tossed through the buildings. A woman by the name of Daki walks out of the building with the number 7 in her eyes. She explains to them that they are intruding on something that she has been doing for years on end, but before she could finish, Tanjiro and the Sound Hashira kick her away, picking up both Zenitsu and Ninosuke. She stands back up, laughing at them, until she realizes who came on this mission, seeing that it is Tanjiro and Zenitsu. She looks over and nods at something, but seemingly there's nothing even there. She charges at them, but then right when they begin to fight, she seemingly goes on the defensive. Kurama, you saw that, right? Yes, but I'm as clueless as you. I'm not sure what she nodded at. Tondro, while, while the fight raged on, jumps out and a crow flies down. Look, I'm seriously suspicious of what is happening. Please warn everyone at the Hashira Mansion that an attack could be very near in future. In the future, the crow flies off, and Tanjiro hopes that he is wrong about his suspicion. When he enters the battle once again, he now sees two demons fighting the group. Kid, that demon is made up of two demons. Both heads must be cut off at the same time. But I have a feeling this is just a stall. I have that feeling too, Kurama. Tanjiro begins to fight the lady demon, kicking her to where her brother stood. Zenitsu and Tanjiro then stand side by side. Breath of the Fox. Fourth form. Wasteland. Thunder breathing. First form. Tailed. Tailed mutation. The second, the, the the two demons are then surrounded by a wasteland, allowing Tanjiro and Zenitsu to tar to charge at them. Zenitsu using his his new version of thunder breathing first form, with his tailed mutate tailed one tailed beast mutation, they close the distance. And basically, he, they're able to cut off the demon's heads, and they begin to fade away. But as they die, they stare in the direction of something. Tanjiro dashes at it, 
I grab something. He seemingly grabs it, and a demon eye that has been spying on them. Damn it! I knew it! We have to leave now! Back at the Hush Room engine. An explosion can be heard in the distance, and as the Hush Room run toward it, they can see their master dead to Muzan himself. The floor beneath them flips, and they end up in an unknown area. Back to Tanjiro, they run back to the Hushra mansion to see it completely abandoned. A crow then flies down telling the group to head in the direction of the master's home and when they arrive they see a man standing with a woman lashed onto him. Muzan looks at them but continues to struggle to break free from this woman. Help the other demon slayers please! The group dives down into the area but are split up almost instantly. Tanjiro finds himself alone, but as he walks a little bit further, Rengoku comes flying through a wall. Rengoku! Finally, the kid with the nine-tailed fox, Tanjiro Kamado. Akaza? Akaza charges at Tanjiro, but the strike is blocked as Tanjiro enters his linked form with Kurama. I hope you got stronger, Akaza, because I promise you, I have. Tanjiro kicks Akaza and their fight begins. Akaza's durability is the only reason for him even being like keeping up with Tanjiro at this point and obviously his reaction time allowing to keep up with Tanjiro's immense speed. The fight rages on until Koro begins to spread throughout the room trapping Akaza. What the hell is this? Tomioka enters giving off this aura that portrayed water itself in its purest form. Tanjiro's sword lights a blaze and he cuts off Akaza's head. Akaza's head, or Akaza's body, begins to twitch and somehow breaks free of the coral. What? I cut off his head! Tanjiro, I think he's evolving. His head begins to grow back, but before the process finishes, he disintegrates. Tanjiro and Tomioka look at each other with relief. And Tanjiro heals an unconscious Ray Goku, waking him up. They dash through the halls, hearing Crow say that the top, that all the top demons except for the upper one and upper six, have has been have been slain, but many demon slayers and even the Hashira Shinobu, has been killed in battle. It is then later relayed by the Crows that another Hashira has died, but upper one has been the upper one demon has been slain. Tomioka has the surface to help with the fight against Muzan, but Tanjiro hears a fight occurring. He enters a room seeing Zenitsu and Kaigaku fighting, but Kaigaku then abruptly gets Zenitsu to the ground, stabbing his hand through the seal on his stomach, and Shukaku begins to be extracted. Tanjiro tries to stop it, but it's too late, and Zenitsu laid on the ground seemingly without life. Kaigaku looks at Tanjiro and smiles. This is the end game now, Tanjiro Kamado. And I'm not even part of it when it all ends. Kaigaku jumps to the surface. Tanjiro runs over to Zenitsu trying to save him, but nothing works. Come on, survive, please, Zenitsu. Tanjiro, I have an idea to save him. What? I'll do anything. What is it? You can transfer one half of me into Zenitsu. It will decrease your power, but... It should save him. Chrome explains how, how to do so and the transfer begins. And at the end of it, Zenitsu still lays lifeless. What? It didn't work? Zenitsu then shakes awake looking at Tanjiro, thanking him for the save, and they head to the surface. They see Kaigaku and Muzan standing side by side with the rest of the demon slayers surrounding him. Kaigaku looks at them and says, what what he did before. I told you. I'm not part of this endgame. Muzan begins to absorb him, getting not only the knowledge of thunder breathing, but also the one tailed beast Shukaku, making him immensely stronger than before. The fight rages on, with Muzan using thunder breathing with a demon enhanced version of Shukaku's powers. Rengoku Tanjiro, Zenitsu, Tomioka, 
and the rest of the Hashira. And even the Demon Slayers fight on against Muzan, trying to stall for time until the sun rises. But Kurama chimes in, telling them that Shukaku is still holding on to his wits, but doesn't have control over anything. But Shukaku told him that with, with him within, while with him within Muzan, the sun will not defeat him no longer. Zenitsu and Tanjiro look in complete shock at what they have been to just told. And they, they told the rest of the Hashira without Muzan knowing that they realized the predicament they were in. I have to beat? I, I have an idea to beat him. Tomioka responds to him. What, what is it, Tanjiro? Incinerate every last cell. What? How is that even possible? I, I'm not sure, but it has to be possible, right? Kurama responds and saying that it is possible and that he knows a way to do so. But if he does, Tanjiro will die. If that means Nezuko, Tomioka, Urokodaki, Zenitsu, Inosuke, Rengoku, and everyone else can live on in peace, then I'll do it. I thought you would say that, kid. This is called Burian Mode. It will completely sync us up. And make you powerful beyond belief. But you will die after the power runs out. Tanjiro nods. And enters the form without telling anyone. The death that follows him. Using the form. He charges in at Muzan. Muzan tries to swat him away. But, but his arm immediately gets blown off his body. Tanjiro begins to use. To begins to basically. Complete destroy Muzan, even slow, slowing his regeneration and slicing through all the auto sand protection that he has gotten from Shukaku. The fight continues and Muzan's regeneration seems to be so slow that that wound seemed to, the wound seemed to last for upwards of 30 seconds. Tanjiro, you have to finish this now. Tanjiro slices through Muzan once again and stands with his blade through him. Breath of the Fox, Fourth Form, Wasteland. Tondro breathes in, sharp and deeply. Barry in breathing, fully linked. Tailed Beast Bomb, Supernova. Everyone backs, backs far away from the battle, and they can still feel the heat radiating from Tondro. The light is so bright that it is equiv the equivalent of looking into the sun. The dust clears, and Tondro stands there as everyone runs over and no one else is around him Tondro, did you do it yes <laughs> he's gone every single cell of him i'm sorry everyone that i didn't tell you but the form i used would cause me to lose my life everyone begins to panic but kurama asks to talk to everyone it's not him who will lose his life it is me. I knew that if I said I would be the one to die, he would have never gone to this length. Zenitsu, take care of my other half. And for the rest of you, take care of the world and never let someone like Muzan ruin it again. The voice fades away and Tanjiro begins to cry. cry. Loud footsteps in the distance can be heard. And when they look, they can see many other tailed beasts revealing themselves, seemingly acknowledging them, thanking them for getting rid of Muzan himself. And now that they and now they can finally live without the threat of being hunted by him. As some walk off and some fly, they disappear like like a mist. Kurama can be seen in the sky like a ghost. Like in a state of ghost-like, smiling, hoping that one day he will be back on this world once again to see their reincarnations, living out the legacy of these people before him. And that is the end of this what if officially. And before you say it, I know I completely skipped an arc. I felt like this was a good way to go. And I felt like I was setting this up already for something like this to happen, like relatively quicker than in canon. So I wanted to get out that, that out of the way. I know that 
and um, I'm actually not going to talk about what happens at the end when Muzan is defeated because I feel like that's a spoiler, a bigger spoiler in itself. And uh, yeah, if you re if you read the manga, then you should already know what happens. So I'd rather not go into this for the people that um, maybe watch this but didn't actually read the manga. So um, they can enjoy the proper ending on their own. Because it would be the same in this scenario, more or less. So um, yeah, again, if you enjoyed, please leave a like and subscribe. And comment down below any suggestions you have. And um, I'll try my best to get to them. Share this with everybody, with your mom, your dad, sister, brother, dog, everybody. I like. I really enjoyed making this manga edition. It was really fun. Um, it, it was harder than I thought it was going to be. I will completely admit that. Um, especially because you don't have it animated. You don't have their voices. And it's basically just me interpreting through through manga and reading, which it was fun. It was definitely enjoyable. But, um, yeah, again, if you enjoyed, please leave a like and subscribe. I appreciate all the love and support. Thank you for 2,000 subscribers. I know I put this in a community post already, but I wanted to say it. Thank you so much for that. And we're going to keep growing, and we're going to make it to the top. It's that simple. All right, I hope everyone has an amazing day. Um, yeah, later.